Okay, I'm going to take the seal out of a, a RAV4, um, Toyota RAV4, 1998. Um, I did the timing belt. Um, the timing belt was broken when I got it. It's contaminated with oil, so the seals are leaking. So I'm going to do all the seals. And I got to the crank seal and I wanted to um, figure out a way to get it out without using a screwdriver. And uh, this is what I came up with. It's a roofing nail for, I think, shingles. So it's quite a, it's quite a long one. I bent it in this shape and I filed the one end off. So you look like it's got like a little, little uh, lip on it. But anyways, so this is how it works. You uh, go up to the seal. Say the seal is, just kind of pretend this is the seal here. And you're along the crank, you drive it into the side of the seal or along the lip of the seal. And then you pull down and it locks underneath the lip of the seal, like under here. And then, and then you pull away. So, give you a demonstration here. So, you get to your seal, and you put it into the seal, which is about there. You might have to hit it in with a screwdriver on the flat side. Just tap it in. Gently. Okay. So she's tapped in. Tapped in pretty good. Then you'll turn it pull it down because the, the way the lever is and it had to be bent so that it kind of goes down and then this way so straight out then down and then in so you now got a hook on the end of it so you just take a hammer after that and uh, like you're gonna pull out a nail and just give it a good quick pull and bang your seal comes out you might have to um, work around it like might not come off the first try but it's a lot better than using a screwdriver you're not doing it much damage to anything so there you go that's how I changed my seal so again I'll give you the I'll give you the first step on making it um, it looks kind of like this so here's one that I previously started to make that was my test one but I needed that bend see that that bit of an arc in there so again I just cut off one of the end of the thing just so that there's a lip so it goes into the seal and then turn and the locks up and lifts in so basically you can make two of these like so and uh, just, or you could just use a screwdriver, but I don't know, this kind of works pretty slick, so try to make one if you want. That's my, that's my 10 cent seal puller. Works good for some seals, maybe not for all, but if you had a longer nail too, you could get a better, see you have to have a bit of a bend here. So if the nail was about this long, you could, you know, yeah, it works great. Right on, try it out. Thanks, check out my website, subscribe, whatever. That's how I pulled the seal on my main crank.